Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about community college. I have a series about community college that is going to be posted on my channel over the next few videos and all of these videos are going to be related to whether community college is the right fit for you out of high school, how to transfer out as a community college student. The video I posted on Friday was all about how to transfer to UCLA as a transfer student out of community college but I also have future videos coming up about how to apply out of state, how to apply to private schools, um, as well as how to find resources at your community college. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. I think that this information is very valuable and a lot of what I'm going to be telling you today and over the next few weeks is related to advice that I wish I had been given and information that I wish I had known. So today's video is going to be my five tips for deciding whether community college is the right decision for you when you are a senior in high school. So I will give a little bit of backstory throughout this video as to why I personally decided to go to community college, but there is a multitude of reasons why community college is a great choice and why I actually strongly recommend it over four-year universities, but that ultimately depends on your personality and your goals. I wanted to start out this video by saying that community college sometimes gets a bad rap. Uh, it is often perceived as a place where people go when they couldn't get into a four-year university. And I want to kind of dispel that myth. Community college is a place where you can grow at your own pace without paying the cost of a four-year university. Oftentimes people will go to a four-year university and not know how to really thrive on their own and without the pressure of their parents. And so community college is a good option for those students that need a little bit more time to grow into themselves and to figure out what it is they want to get out of university. So with that being said, I just wanted to make sure that I kind of dispel this social belief that community college is for lesser students. I don't believe that at all. I think that transfer students are sometimes the strongest students in the classroom at a four-year university. That was definitely my experience when I was at UCLA. I think that sometimes they offer more perspective and diversity to a university campus. And I think that ultimately becoming a community college student is an investment in your future if you make it so. So tip number one is if you're financially unable to leave home or if you're financially unable to pay for a four-year university. It is well known that community college is a lot less expensive than a four-year university and oftentimes you're going to be able to live at home, which either you can live there for free or you can live there for a reduced cost. I personally moved out right after high school. So when I was 17, I went to my parents and told them that I wanted to go to community college and I wanted to pursue my riding career. Uh, I ride horses professionally and at the time I had an opportunity to start training to become a professional and I didn't want to pass that up in order to leave for a school that I wasn't all that excited about. Uh, my parents, while they were relatively understanding, did say that if I wanted to be an adult and make that decision, then I was ultimately going to have to be an adult and move out. So my decision to go to community college was not just one made out of financial cost, it was really made out of an opportunity and I moved out. I did not live at home. I lived in an apartment near a community college about two hours away from my hometown and I used community college as my stepping stone into my personal academic career but also allowing me to pursue my professional riding career. The investment in my time and the investment in my community college classes was incredibly valuable to me but to go back on number one, the financial cost of a community college versus a four-year university, especially a private four-year university, is rather extreme. I'm actually going to write a blog post on my new website, which should be launching next week, um, all about community college and the stats and the costs, uh, as well as my own personal experience. But for the sake of this video, if you cannot afford to go to a four-year university, community college is an excellent option. It also allows you to live at home if that is an option for you. But in most cases, I do recommend trying to get some distance from your comfort zone, even during your time at community college. And whether that's that you're able to actually move out or if you can get a job during that time, trying to change your living situation a little bit so it's not just the model that you had in high school is also going to be important. But if you can keep the costs low and community college is the better option, I absolutely recommend it. So number two is that there are opportunities outside of a four-year university that are going to be more beneficial for your future. And that was the case for me. 
I decided that my riding career and the opportunities that I was being given at that time were going to fall to the wayside if I went to a four-year university and I knew that if I went right away that I was going to be at school and I was going to regret being there. I was going to be constantly thinking about the what-ifs and how I had wanted to go ride and that I didn't stand up for myself and my intuition. So ultimately the opportunity to ride was worth me not going to a four-year university right off the bat. And for you, whether that's like you want to get a job or you have an opportunity back at home or you have an opportunity in a different area and the four-year universities just don't seem like they're going to offer you what you need at that time, it's going to be up to you to decide whether a four-year university or a community college is going to be the most beneficial for your future. So number three is that you've been accepted to schools out of high school and you're just not excited to go. So this kind of ties into my next point. But ultimately, if you have gotten into schools that you're just not really thrilled to attend, why pay the cost and put yourself through the moving process and whatnot if you're not excited to be there? One, it's a matter of cost, but two, it's a matter of mental and emotional cost. Moving away from home can be really difficult. But on top of that, if you're going to a four-year university, you don't want to waste your time there. Ultimately, going to community college and kind of taking a minute to figure out what it is that you want and what it is that'll be beneficial for you may be a better choice than going to a university that you don't feel is the right fit for you. And some people may feel pressured by their parents or whoever or society even to go to a four-year university because that's what people do. But if you kind of stand your ground and say, you know what, community college is what's going to offer me the opportunities that I need and it's going to give me the time that I need to figure out what I want, that's a perfectly good reason to stay and go to community college or even to move away and go to community college. It's not that you're throwing away your future. If anything, you're reducing the cost and you're making it so that you have a better shot of getting into a university you really enjoy. Because at community college, you can take the time to make sure that your GPA is solid and you can make sure that you have those prerequisites that you need in order to get into the schools that you really want to go to. And I think that that's a perfectly good reason to go to community college. So number four is that community college will give you the opportunity to grow at your own pace. So as I said before, a four-year university is costly and you want to make sure that you're getting all of your classes done within that two-year span. But if you're getting poor grades or if you're not passing your classes within those two years, you're ultimately looking at potentially having to stay an extra semester or even an extra year in order to make up for that time. So why not take the time to go to community college and kind of figure out what it is that you want to study. Take the time to figure out which classes you want to be in. I think it's ultimately a really great time to grow. I was somebody that went into community college thinking I wanted to study business, but when I was in community college, I took a variety of classes, including business courses, including history, poli sci, philosophy, and ultimately noticed that I was wanting to study my history classes far more than I wanted to study anything else. Every time I had a reading, every time I had a lecture, I was more excited to do those than I was to read any of the other readings or attend any of the other lectures. So that was a sure sign for me that history was what I was meant to study. And ultimately, I think that community college is a great time to kind of take a sampler of courses to figure out what might be best for you. And what's great about those courses is that in a way they're survey courses so they're not going to be as specialized and you can kind of figure out what it is that you enjoy within those subjects and then use that knowledge when you do go to a four-year university to figure out which classes you want to take. I noticed that a lot of the classes I was taking in community college related to the 17th and 18th century and I wanted to focus on race and gender and I wouldn't have known that had I gone to a four-year university. I would have been entirely set on wanting to have a riding career and I would have been entirely set on wanting to eventually have a training business. But now because I had the opportunity to ride and I completed all of those goals at the best of my ability, I was able to move on and actually study something I really loved and enjoyed. And ultimately out of high school, you may not know what you want to study. A lot of, a lot of times we are told what we should study, whether it be engineering in order to make money, business, again, in order to make money in a stable environment. We're often told by society and our parents that there are certain fields that we should want to go into because that leads to a more stable future. But why would you want that future if it's not something that you really love? I used community college in order to figure out what it is I did really enjoy and really did love. And now as I look into the future, I'm excited about what it is I get to accomplish and excited about the things that I'm trying to pursue because I know that it's what's meant for me. And 
ultimately I think that's something that we should all strive for. So number five is to decide whether you're choosing to go to community college or to go to a four-year university out of fear or intuition. So fear and intuition are two things that often get mixed up. Intuition is that gut feeling when something is right or when something is wrong. And fear is making a decision based on insecurity. I have met so many students that decided to go to community college because they didn't even apply to four-year universities because they just didn't think that they could get in. But why not take your shot and try to see if you can get into those schools? And if you didn't get in the first time around, then use community college as a way to get you to that school. But if we don't ever try, we will never know. And ultimately, when we make decisions out of fear, we'll constantly look back and regret it. Because you made that decision based on the belief that you weren't good enough. When we go to community college, in order to break that social stigma that it is only a place where people go and they have no other option, we have to see community college as a thing that lifts us up, not that brings us down. And we have to see it as an opportunity, not as a backup plan. So ultimately, when I made the decision to go to community college, it was based on my intuition that I was meant to go and pursue my riding career. I strongly urge you to take some time, think about it, talk with someone, message me even, to get some advice on whether community college may be the right decision for you and why it is you think it's the right decision for you. Because you don't want to make a decision that is based on fear, you want to make one that's based on your gut, so that way you can look back and you say, you, I had a feeling, and I took it, and I ran with it, and I did my absolute best, and it worked. That is what you want. You don't want to look back and regret the decisions based on fear. All right, so we've now come to the end of the video and I do hope that you really enjoyed it and that it was helpful for you. If you ever need a friend and if you ever want to discuss how community college may or may not be the option for you, please feel free to send me a message, whether it be in the comments down here or DM me on Instagram. I really want this channel to be a place where I can connect with you guys and help you through your own process as I did because oftentimes I did a lot of the decision making on my own. But ultimately, like I said in tip number five, you should make decisions based on intuition. And if you need a little help and you need somebody to kind of talk you through it, then go to your friends, go to your family if you can, or even go to a stranger that may have some insight. I'm going to be writing up a blog post all about this and the stats. Uh, which I will be posting once the website is live. So go over to my Instagram, that's where I'm going to be posting when that website is live, as well as the blog post. But we've now come to the end of the video and I wanted to say thank you for watching until the end. If you did, please let me know down below. I, I love knowing when you guys find this information helpful and whether you're actually watching these videos all the way through. And in addition to that, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you would like future videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.